Yo, what's going on? What's going on? Welcome to the studio. Start in this little area. Here we got my chair, this fucking chair, man. I'm telling you, it's been through it, but it gets me through it. Here's like a little, I don't know, my drawing station, you could say, where I like, will start a piece. So this little sketch that I made here starts there, gets traced and edited, and then it will get projected onto the canvas, which I'm working on over there. We'll show you a little bit later, but yeah, this is the drawing station where kind of everything is born. Then we've got my cameras, all my different types of cameras, my Polaroids. I love Polaroids. They're like my favorite type of analog format cameras. And then we got my bookshelf, some like, some of my favorite books by some of my favorite artists. And then we just have like, I don't know, some random shit. I'll show you one in particular. We got Horton, here's a who. It's just, I love the, uh, the art in it. So like, it doesn't have to necessarily be a book on an artist. It just, whatever gets me going. And then we just have some like random little sculptures that I've made that don't belong anywhere that just survive there. Then we've got some pottery that I've made. This stuff's all from around high school. I don't really do as much as I'd like to anymore, but it's still cool. And then we got some records, some vinyl. Gotta have the vinyl and the record player and the speaker. This is where I sleep some nights. It's not very big, but it gets the job done. And then this is where I have some like older sketchbooks that I'll look back on just like for ideas and shit. Yeah, there's there's always some goodies in these sketchbooks that I forget about or I just, I don't really go back to. And then this, we got this table. This is uh, this yearbook page I did a while back, like 2019, and it's sculpted out of Q-tip heads and I'm recreating it right now in a larger scale. And that's what this desk is being used for. And then this is like my favorite table in the studio. It's got all the, the brushes that you could ever possibly need. These are like the messy brushes and these are like the newer brushes and stuff like that. Then we come over here and we got some acrylic, just all the colors you can imagine. We got some oil running low on spray paint. And then on this shelf here, it's all like my sculpting materials. So we have like my vacuum chamber, my airbrushes, silicone and resin and my tattoo machine and VHS camera, just random things that I don't know where to put really that just go up on that shelf to, uh, yeah. And then this table, this gets the most use in the entire studio. Cause like right now I'm doing a lot of sculpting. So I made these sculptures and then I made silicone molds of the sculptures. And then what I do is I go ahead and shove clay inside the mold and then peel it out. And it just, it gives it an interesting effect. And then this part of the table is like the oil side, which is the messy side. And that's what I'm using on this painting right here. It's uh, just the background right now. The face that I showed you actually over there is gonna get laid in on top here large. And I just gotta continue to work on the background until it's where I want it to be. And then over here is some of those sculptures that I was telling you about. These like little clay faces that I, uh, like this one is pretty, pretty cool. I love this one. Yeah, this one is also pretty cool. I don't know, I find that like, if I paint for too long, then I get bored and I need to sculpt. And then, oh, this one's actually pretty cool. I made this last night. It just dried perfectly. But yeah, that's like, yeah. And then I have like paintings hung up everywhere. I have masks everywhere. I don't know, I need to have things on the walls. Otherwise I feel like I'm in an insane asylum. And like, regardless if there's shit on the walls or not, I still feel like I'm in an insane asylum. I feel a little crazy sometimes when I'm in here for hours by myself. But uh, yeah, overall, that's it. Thank you for stopping by.